think it's important. I, I, number one, I think it's important that, uh, you know, our guys have that opportunity. And, and we've talked about it. And uh, Dwayne's uh, been a tremendous advocate. And, and having that opportunity, you know, uh, our, our week changed a little bit. Todd, last night we had a walkthrough, uh, which we never really do anything on Sundays usually. But with a short week, number one, playing on Friday, uh, and our guys did a great job with it, and uh, they all understand to educate themselves and uh, that uh, uh, they, they need to do their part. I think it's big. I haven't seen a emphasis on voting this big since I've been alive, really. Um, being young, I've been young, so I haven't been able to vote. This is my first year I'm able to vote. So I think it's very big for me to just use my rights and just make my voice be heard. Um, a lot of people probably re think that their vote doesn't really matter or doesn't count, but it actually does. So I would encourage everybody to go out there and vote and make sure that you guys use your uh, rights. Um, Coach Choke had tried to get us all registered. I'm pretty sure that every person on this team is registered to vote. So I don't know if everyone's going to go out there and do their due diligence. However, I do believe that most of us will and we'll uh, go out there and hopefully have our voices heard. Um, it feels good. You know, our voice, our voices need to be heard, not only from student athletes, but from everybody. Um, in the off season when we weren't playing with the COVID stuff, that's what we took a big emphasis on, and everybody needs to go out there and vote. I think the quarterback situation is much different at San Jose State than it is at UNLV and also at Utah State. And uh, I just think this quarterback – you know, he's played in big games. He's got a nice arm, uh, nice timing with, within the offense. Uh, I, again, uh, you know, the three wideouts uh, th that are uh, we're going to face are probably more dangerous than any others that we face so far. And the consistency of the quarterback is part of that. Yeah, they're a real good team. Um, they've been a lot better in the past years. This last year they had a very good team as well. It gave us a run for our money as well. But this year, just to have a very good quarterback, to some good receivers, we're going to go out there and just play our game still. No matter what, whoever we play, it doesn't really matter. We're just going to go out there and do what we know we can do. If you ask them, every time I see them, I tell them they can't mess with you on that field every single time. There's nobody on that field defensively that we play against that could do something that can stop him. So every time I see them, I just tell them I'm real proud of them too. Um, got to know him a little bit last year before he came in and just talked to him before he got here, just telling him how – the program and everything, and we got real close. So that's a that's a guy I'm really proud of. Just seeing it, uh, go out there and ball out. First, it, start, it starts up front. Our old line is doing a great job. You know, quarterbacks, uh, tight ends, receivers doing a great job blocking for us. And we're just going out there running. Um, we all push each other in practice. Coach Horton, Coach Horton pushes us in practice to be better. Work work on the details, and we just go out there and ball.